on the Justice Court. The plaintiff, Florence Oshibeson, is suing her sibling, Adewi Adekwite, for her share of paternal inheritance. All rise. Court is session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Florence Usibeso and Adewi Sonny. Parties for me. Thank you, Naki. Uh, I saw your claim, right? And I realized this is, has to do with inheritance. Yes, yes ma'am. And with your other siblings. Yes, ma'am. There are three wives. Yes, ma'am. We're talking about the children. And um, I noticed that you further stated that you have some houses that the tenants are living rent free. Is this right a question? Then, which I first saw about the cavalry as solo. Well. You mentioned your brother, Captain Adewani. Captain Adewani, yes, ma'am. Yes. As somebody that could resolve what is on ground. Right? Yes, ma'am. Because we have spoken with him yes, three times. And he said. He's going to call. We should give him one time for him to try and settle out of court. Yes, ma'am. That he's going to call all of you together. Then you are going to sit down together and discuss the way forward. Yes, ma'am. Now, when you have that meeting, you have to report back to us so that we know the situation on ground. Do I make sense? Yeah, right. So you have to get back to us. Let us know whatever you have decided on. And whether you've been able to reach a consensus, an agreement. Otherwise, you can always come back here. There's a point of omission there. No? There's a point of omission. Anyway. Right. Because in several occasions, we've called meetings. And at the end of the day, it results to free for fight, free for all fights. Because of lack of construction of understanding among my siblings. What's your suggestion now? Ma? What's your suggestion now? Uh, my suggestion... Because first of all... Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let me have your suggestion and I'll tell you my what you have to do. Is, I am also representing Captain Ye. Representing? Uh, Captain One Idea. Because in several occasions when we call for meeting, it will not show up. Then, in the issue of this, I come to represent him so that the issue can properly be set once and for all. Because in several occasions, it's this same meeting that I've been prolonging the tenants. Now, you see. Making uh, payment of what is due. There. Yes, ma'am. So, if that is the case. Yes, ma'am. There are a lot of you, the children, not just two. Yes. What, if you want it resolved, then what we need to do is let not just us swing only you. Let everybody come in. The same kind of meeting that I want you to have there, that is suggesting that you should come and have there. If you can't have it there, then we can come here. Then everybody will discuss it and we trash it out once and for all. Okay, now. Because now she's taking only you up. You have other brothers and sisters. Do you understand? They are not here. Unless you are sure that you are you have their uh, their consent to represent all of them yeah. but if you are having so much disputes then every wink ought to have been brought to the court yeah. even if it's just one one person from each wing i don't know that i'm making sense i got your point they should be here otherwise whatever we decide on now if a wing does not like it you are all still going to come back here Ma, there is still something. You want to say something? Yes. Let her touch. My Lord, uh, his mother's siblings are here. Some of them are here. That's so you have the three wings here? Eh? Yes, ma, that's the what three my wings. Are oh, okay. Yeah. One wing, or second wing. Yeah. So you are representing your own wing? 
I'm on my own. Okay. You are not one of the children. No, I'm one of the children. On, you don't have any other opinions. Thing. Because my siblings are not with me. You see what I'm talking about? Everybody needs to come around. It's just an exercise in futility. If what we are going to discuss now, we still have some people that are not here and that may not even agree to whatever all of you agree on it. I don't know whether I'm making sense to you. You want I'm to say something? Yes, ma'am. Please excuse me. Okay. These matters have been taken to many law enforcement agents by them, by their mother's side. My father has three wives. The first wife has seven children. I'm the, I'm the child of the second wife. My mother has two children. My brother is late. What yes. kind of marriage did they conduct with the three wives? Native, no. Traditional no, wedding. Traditional wedding, yes. yes <clears throat> so, and this <clears throat> mother, they have been taking it all around by themselves, by their mothers, because there were a lot of arguments between them. There was a time they took themselves to mediation center, Yaba. That time, I, I wasn't, I don't know what is happening around them because my father died in year, in year 2010. So, after nine years, I received a call from one of the, one of uh, his uh, siblings, which is pastor. He said, Auntie L, I said, what is happening? He said, I have a, an invitation letter from uh, meditation, Yaba, that they want. I said, what happened? He said, consigning their, our father's uh, properties, that he wants to know how their last month, like their mama last born, have been managing the properties that he did not, other children that are not benefit from it. I said, what about mama? He said, I should forget that. So we went there. Nothing come out. That day when we were there, they were hugging, hugging. So the, the, the twin sister, the mama last born, was saying, telling the, uh, the lady in charge that uh, they are using the money to take care of mama and renovating the house and so on like that. That's how that one day down. Nothing come out of it. I received a call again from uh, Pastor, Pastor Adibi, Adibi, say that uh, auntie, uh, he has transferred the case to Lagos State's Minister of Justice, Alausa, that they need attention of all Baba's uh, children. I say, okay, I will come. I was coming to that. Sorry for interrupting you. Because that's why I was waiting for you to get to this point. Because that is where the challenge is. The plaintiff, Florence Oshibeson, claims that her father died over a decade ago without a will. The late father was married to three wives and was survived by many children. Previous attempts by the siblings to reach agreement on how to manage their father's estate have always ended in chaos. The defendant, Adewi Adebute, claims that he is not the head of the family and does not have the authority of other siblings to litigate on the estate. Madam Florence expresses frustration over not having a share of benefits from her father's estate. She wants Judge Fumi to wade into this matter. Number one, you need to, he didn't leave any will. You need to process the letter of administration in order for you to run the estates. All the properties, they are called estates. Even if a tenant is there and you want to evict the tenant, is in that capacity because he's deceased. Now, when you want to process the early letter of that's what we call early letter of administration, I reprobe it. You will get to the stage where they will request to see all the children. So, whether you like it or not, with respect to the estate, for you to be able to manage all of you, manage this. You all still need to come together and decide on the way forward. Because you have to appoint some of you to be administrators of the estates. Now, those of you here can do, you can't choose among yourself. There will be conflicts. Is that not so? Yes. That's why I said, until I have everybody, let's have everybody around. Start and sue everybody. Let the legal team write everybody and invite them. Let's see those that will not come. Let's see those that will come. It will be on record. There's something to tender. They were invited. 
I don't know whether I'm I got communicating. So it's like we're back there. Whatever you do now, decide now. Do you understand? There's still a vacuum because others are not here. If on your own wing, there are four of you, unless you have something to show, to say, the others, they signed and said, we've agreed that uncle so-so-so-so or brother so-so-so should go and whatever he agrees on is binding on all of us. Then he can sit down there and say he's representing his own wing. Same with you. You've not even gone far. You've told me that you are apart from them. So you see the essence of what I'm talking about. So there must be that center point. Without the center point, it's going to be difficult. But if all of you come and there's a decision taken here, it can easily assist the procurement of the letter of administration. And with that, then you can start running the estate formally. You can evict tenants. You can increase rents and any other property, I don't know, any other estate, whatever, that you still have to touch. You have something to say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma come forward. Yes, thank you. No, come, come, come out and stand beside her. Just stand at the center here. Ma, I've tried a lot concerning what you are saying. I've even taken, starting from 19, I mean 2019, I'm the one that even takes the, the step. And after the mediation center, they refer me to Ministry of Justice. And the Ministry of Justice called us, according to what you are, exactly what you are saying, that we should all come together and have a one mind by selling it or by lending it out. But there are two people. I'm senior to him. I'm the third, I mean the third son of our father. And he followed me, I'm the second son of our parents. And I talked to them, but the two of them, the senior, my senior, Adewale Adebite, and E Adewi Adebite, gathered together, conspiring the whole thing. And I even called them, why we all gathered that the seven out of ten said that we had decided to sell this estate so that everybody could have his own share and go. But you know what? What I'm still trying to tell you, I don't know I'm communicating. You are communicating. You still cannot sell unless you have letter of administration. So you are jumping the gun. The first thing is you should have the power to sell. You don't have the power to sell. Now that is the conspiracy. That's the that's the conspiracy he's talking about because I and my captain refused based on the fact that the matter has not been trashed accordingly. And for that reason... The letter of administration? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So that's it. You need to... You have to obtain the letter of administration. Whoever buys, there's something we call caveat emptor. <laughs> Buyers beware. It's at your own peril. Yes. Anybody that buys that kind of property. Yes. Because one of you can wake up tomorrow and say he never supported the sale. That is it. That is it. And that person is buying litigation. God bless you, man. That is litigation. So even if all of you, let me assume that all of you at this time has agreed to sell, you cannot sell. That is what I'm trying to tell you. Until you process that letter of administration. How do you process the letter of administration? All of you will be required. Your presence will be required at probate. But if there's a process here whereby it's shown that all of you have agreed, that can be tendered over there to ease it off. So, you, there must first be an avenue that will bring everybody together. That agreement between all of us is a problem. When we were all said, you need to get a platform whereby the good team can invite everybody. Okay. Judge Fumi counsels the litigants on the need for the siblings to reach agreement, appoint administrators, and obtain letter of administration from a probate court to manage their estate according to the provision of the law. She encourages the plaintiff to join other siblings in the suit for all to be invited to court if they are not able to implement the counsel. After the break, Judge Fumi adjourns this matter. Thank you. Probably so. 
until when you come back. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.